Hey, good morning. Uh, I've got a new tire I'm going to try out. This is a Golden Tire GT333. Uh, it's 110 100. Um, it does not appear to be directional. There is no arrow on it. It is DOT approved, but it is not a FIM tire. Uh, FIM tires, uh, the knobs can only be 13 millimeters or smaller. Um, I measured the knobs on this with my calipers. They are 16 millimeters in height. Um, <clears throat> and I'm coming off the Shinko 525 Hybrid Cheater, which is a, a gummy version of the Shinko 525. Uh, I have no complaints about this tire whatsoever. Um, this thing has been great. If I freaking hate this, I'm getting another one of these. But it's time to change this. Um, it's not totally done, but when, when the knobs on a tire get down below fim size, I, I like to s swap the tire. Um, <clears throat> now, this tire, Golden Tire says, is their mid hard terrain tire. Um, the 216 rear from Golden Tire, they say, is their intermediate tire. And the 232, they say that's their soft to mid, mid terrain tire. Uh, if you're trail riding, you're mostly probably on intermediate to hard terrain uh, for the most part, unless you're just constantly in sand. Um, <clears throat> now, some things about this tire. Uh, it's kind of a hybrid tire, you could say. Not, not in the respect that it's like a trials tread pattern or a trials compound, um, but the, the sidewalls are extremely stiff. I was stepping on it with all my weight and they would not collapse. So that should be really good for pinch flat protection and to protect the rim. But if I look at the knob uh, compound here, here's the, the 525. You know, I can just totally titty twist these. You know, it's real soft, it's a gummy compound. Uh, this one, I cannot budge these knobs at all, not even a bit. Um, that's that's a little concerning to me. Um, on the on my TTR, I have a set of Moto's Terrapactors, which are a soft terrain tire, meaning then that the rubber compound and knobs are very stiff, so they they punch through soft material. Those knobs did not feel good on our rocks. It had like a very uh, skittery feeling like it was constantly skittering around whereas uh, the hybrid cheater with the gummy compound just stuck like glue these knobs are even harder than the terrapactors but they do have this kind of weird grippy feel to the top of them which is a little strange so uh, I don't know I mean I, I, I predict that like downhill braking and loose stuff this golden tire will kick ass um, I like the the side tread pattern how it's more uh, you know tighter versus the 525 so that should provide really good uh, cornering stability uh, and also when I'm on off camber stuff um, the crown of this tire uh, you can push it right down Whereas the sidewall, I mean, it, it, it's really stiff. You can hardly move that. So that should make putting it on really fun. But um, the Golden Tire rep says that the 333 is actually designed to be effective at higher pressures or with a moose. So even at 12 or 14 PSI, the crown of the tire should flatten out on the terrain and give you a nice big contact patch. Um, <clears throat> while still having the stiff sidewalls to protect your tubes and rims. So I, I definitely think it'll do that. Um, I'm just really concerned about how it's going to feel on the rocks. If it sucks, I'm going to be kind of pissed because it was a hundred bucks. Um, but like I said, if it really sucks, uh, I'll give it like two rides unless something just really shitty strikes me tomorrow. We're going riding tomorrow. Um, the other thing I don't like about it is this is made in the PRC, stamped on the tire, People's Republic of China. Now, Shinko used to make the tires for Golden Tire, um, and Shinko also owned the rubber plantations. That's why you see all these Shinko tires that are 
uh, duplicates of Golden Tire now because Shinko owns the mold and they own the rubber. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to affect the quality of the rubber or, or whatever the case is on this Golden Tire. So yeah, I got I got mixed feelings <laughs> on this. Uh, and again, it's, it's these fucking super hard inflexible knobs. Now I'm sure they will flex, you know, once they're on the bike and there's weight on it and everything. But, uh, you know, it's, it's nothing like this gummy tire. I can just bend these knobs over and stuff. This tire sticks like glue. That's oh, school bus. Like I said, this, this tire sticks like glue on the rocks. Super happy with this tire. Uh, this tire, I, I don't know uh, what it's going to do. Uh, even compared to the Golden Tire 216 standard rear, which is not a gummy tire, those knobs I can twist. I can twist the knobs on the IRC VE33 that came stock on this bike, but I can't budge these. But then on the other hand, this uh, crown right here of the tire is much more flexible than those tires. So, man, it's a mystery. Um, like I said, this is a 110-100. It looks really wide right now because it's not on the rim. But let me go ahead and throw this uh, on the rim, and I'll come back and we'll just take a look at uh, what it looks like on the rim uh, when it's all mounted up. All right, it's on here. Uh, that was kind of a bitch to get on. These sidewalls, again, are really stiff. Um, as you can see, it takes on much more rounded profile when it's on the rim. Uh, these knobs here, when the tire was off the rim, were in line with these two here. But, of course, they curve around. Uh, it's certainly oop, damn, uh, very aggressive uh, tire. Still can't move the knobs. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll see how it goes tomorrow. Uh, one tip uh, when you're changing your, your tires is take a minute to stick your finger and check your uh, your bearings. Uh, one of my bearings is kind of notchy, so I'll have to replace that. But anyways, all right, I'll do an update uh, Sunday if I survive and uh, let you know how it went. All right, take it easy.